Hi there, this is Ruben and this is Ship Stories number 39. You like my earrings? Easter! It's Easter weekend, it's Good Friday, so today a little history about Ilha de Pascua. Sorry? Easter Islands. The Easter Islands, did you know, were discovered by a Dutch explorer, Jacob Roggeveen, and the 5th of April 1722 discovered on Easter Sunday the Easter Islands and that's where the name came from and it's stuck. Today it has a Rapa Nui name which is the original uh, population uh, from that island and you all know the Easter Islands from the famous statues. 1000 monuments called the Muay if I pronounce it right. No one actually knows how they have mounted those statues. But anyway, it's an island that lies 3,500 kilometers from the continent. It belongs to Chile and that distance is about uh, 2,200 miles and it belongs to Chile. Uh, it's a beautiful island and one day I hope to be on a ship and go to the Easter Islands. Talking about ships on that side of our world relative to my world is great news that NYK, the Nippon Jusua Kaisha line, has ordered a cruise ship at Mayaveft. And this is great news for our industry because it's the first large new build cruise ship that was ordered since the pandemic started. And, interesting detail, the whole contract and all the negotiations were done via video conferencing. This was the first time in the 225 year of history of Mayavev that they did this. So, there you see what the pandemic also created is a new way of doing business. Honestly, I'm hoping that we can go back to shaking hands and sitting at a table and signing contracts. But if this solves the problem and we can build ships, why not? We need to build ships, we need to move forward, and we are. Talking about moving forward, um, NYK has a cruise ship and it's called the Asuka 2. That is the former Crystal Harmony, which in terms of fire has uh, not a great reputation. On its maiden voyage in 1990, an auxiliary engine caught fire uh, when it was off the coast of Panama. Fortunately, it was extinguished quite fast, but they had a, sh a power cut for a couple of hours and drifted along in the middle of the ocean. Uh, but no one was injured, fire was extinguished, all well. Last year, when it was already called the Asuka 2, in the port of Yokohama, it caught fire again on the top deck on a material storage, presumably uh, on carpets that were stored. There was a fire which was also extinguished very fast. No crew and no passengers were hurt. There were no passengers on board because it was tied up in the harbor of Yokohama due to the pandemic. And then about moving forward, Great news this week that we are allowed to an announce at STI Marine that we have a new colleague. And uh, Paul Switzer, with 20 years of experience, has joined us as the North American sales manager for Marine and Industrial. So STI keeps growing also during the pandemic and I'm looking very much forward to work closely with Paul. He has uh, extensive experience in Marine. He has worked with uh, companies like Vega, uh, WNO. So really great to have you on board, Paul, and wishing you a, little, a lot of success. Also, everybody, thank you for joining the webinar this past Tuesday about uh, cable transits and pipe seals on ships. 
It was great to have you there and I'm looking very much forward to welcome you at the next webinar. So with that said, thank you very much. I wish you a lovely Easter with family and maybe some friends. Enjoy the weekend, relax and see you next week. Bye bye.